After last week's 4-0 hammering away to Saint-Etienne, Brest welcomed Trois to Stade Francis Leblay looking to bounce back. Paul Baez and Ahmed Kantari were back in for the host, while Julien Fossurier returned to the Trois side after suspension. Coaches Landry Chauvin and Jean-Marc Furlin both hoping to see their sides climb out of the bottom half of the table. Brest got the game off to a good start. Bernard Mondi fed the ball to Benoît Le Soimier down the right, and his low ball into the area was met by Eden Bembesat, who got ahead of Bruchy and Rincon to slide the ball home. Into the starting lineup for the first time this season, Bembesat wasted no time justifying Landry Chauvin's choice with this 11th minute goal, the first for a Brest attacker this season. Still, Trois looked dangerous coming forward. The returning Julien Fossurier found captain Marcos down the right, and after a clever one-two, Fossurier crossed into the Brest area. Mohamed Yatera was unable to get the ball past Alexis Thibault, and the Brest defence managed to scramble the ball clear. A fine reaction save from Thibault, which was not to be his last of the game. Trois came close to equalising after a Benjamin Nive free kick a few minutes later. Panic among the Brest defence, who were saved by the post when Grundy and Goey swivelled and shot. 1-0 to Brest at half-time, Paul Bass in discussion with the referee. While watching in the stands, Brest president Michel Guyot, who gave his side a severe tongue lashing after last week's defeat to Saint-Etienne. He can't have been happy when Sebastian Grax chipped beautifully into the path of Munir Abadi, who got away from three Brest defenders before firing under Alexis Thibault. Whistles ringing out around Francis Leblay, but there was little the Brest defence could do about this one. A superb ball forward and a very composed finish from a buddy. Alexis Thibault not best pleased with his defence. Into injury time and with the game heading for a one-all draw, former Montpellier man Geoffrey Dernis picked up possession on the edge of the box, skipped past a Troyes defender and unleashed an unstoppable right-footed drive into the top corner. A superb crashing strike from the left-footed Dernis to secure victory for the home side. Delight for Brest then and Dennis the hero, while Trois were unlucky not to take home a point. 